So, Aqua Bro or Aquaman. So, in this year, we started with a king and now we end with a king. So, Aquaman is a high adventure action movie which has cheesy dialogue, cheesy lines. It's a whole lot of fun, which it should be, unlike Justice League and Suicide Squad and Batman Reese, possibly Man of Steel. Yeah, m better than Man of Steel with the fight sequence and, and everything else. Oh my god, this movie is good and fun. Like, Wonder Woman and Aquaman are in the right direction. It's a good thing, like, I was gonna say James Gunn, like, soon probably, because he's making a Suicide Squad 2, whatever. But, James Wan wanted to make a fun Aquaman movie, because he saw Justice League, and he said, he said on Twitter, uh, you guys, I'm making a fun Aquaman movie, don't worry. And he also commented on Justice League's water bubble that Mara and Archer can't speak, was speaking in, they can't speak in water, they don't need air to speak or talk. Which is great, everything look he, here underwater is great. There's a bit where Patrick Wilson does look like he's CGI. <laughs> he looks more, well, Jason Momoa looked more realistic than Patrick Wilson. Don't mean to trash Patrick Wilson, he may, he was fine as Ocean Master or King or whatever, but there was a bit where he just looked like he was a CGI, the, the water was CGI, the hair movement, I was I wonder how they worked, I wonder if they had like a, like a little like scrunchy and like James Wan just put uh, CGI hair over that. He did it, he made a fun, good Aquaman movie, so this is what the DC's movies should be like, fun action movies, like the Marvel movies. Even though this one's a bit more campier than the Marvel movies. Some of the Marvel movies are campy. But this is like campy, like CW campy. Like the same names. Like, he, like what Ocean Master or King Or. Like, oh, if you control all seven kingdoms via Master of Oceans. It's been on the nose. And with Black Manta's name as well. Like, his grandfather had like the nickname Manta or whatever. So, you see what I'm saying there? It's almost like with the... Um, Almost like with CW Flash. Did I did I just say this in my Bumblebee review? I thought I wrote it in my notes, but I'm like where's my notes? I thought I wrote it down, but I was gonna say you run fast in the Flash. You call you the Flash. That was in my Bumblebee review. You can go check that out if you want to after after this. Whatever I don't know. Do what you want. Now should I have seen Aquaman in IMAX like how I think it was originally intended? Because it looks visually stunning. Like oh my god. This looks better than Man of Steel. This is what Man of Steel should look like. All glossy and like shiny and bright. With the underwater city. Like, the what, what great futuristic Terminator shit that he did, Zack Snyder did in Man of Steel. Like, what the hell? Even the fight sequences are better than here. With the underwater water fights, it's like being in the air, kind of. And he did a lot better with the Aquaman fight and Ocean Master fight. Which was a lot better than the Zod fight. And the Superman fight. And also the CW does it better too. With that Superman fight and the Dark Superman fight was a lot better than Man of Steel. There's only one building that crashed in that fight. Oh my god. I'm going on tangents now, am I? The Bumblebee one, I had Michael Bay tangents. Or rants or whatever. This one, I have Zack Snyder tangents and rants. And what's with Zack Snyder making everything look weird and like out of like touch with the, the, with the cartoons and comic books and stuff like that, like, you want, you're making things too, like, too realistic and it doesn't fit the tone of a, a comic book movie, and, like, Aquaman shoot looks like shit in his movies, and, and The Flash, and Cyborg, and also Batman, even though it kind of looks like the comic version of The Dark Knight. It, it, it is too bulky looking because you're not using real missiles, and The Flash shoots disgusting! I mean, for the show! And I'm glad James Wan made this suit in his movie and wanted to do this because he's a fan of the cartoons and comic books and uh, everything else. I think I had more I think I had more of our outrage in this review than I had in Michael Bay's one. I should have had that. And also if they are soft rebooting it, then make this official Wonder Woman costume instead of having that non bright suit. The reason why this one looks like this, because Hot Toys has re been releasing concept art of 
figures, not concept art of their figures, concept art of of the movie stuff. So that's what, how it looks like that. They should just use this concept art as for the movies because it looks brighter. It looks fun to like look at instead of that dark suit that he, Zack Snyder did. Patty Jenkins changed the crown to gold instead of silver. How Zack Snyder had it in his movie, Batman vs. Superman. Oh my god, I'm going on changes, am I? Oh my god. I love going on tangents. Sit the car. Go away, car! So enough about that. <laughs> Let's talk about the movie. So in the beginning of the movie, we see Queen Atlanta washed up on shore, and then we see then we see Arthur's father, Thomas Curry, find her washed up on shore. This is where a person from the sea falls in love with a person from the land. So Queen Atlanta's story is that like she had she ran off because she didn't want to get married to didn't want to get married from a arranged marriage, and so she runs off and like falls in love with a person from the upper uh, upper half or uh, the sky I was thinking sky people this is not one piece skypea uh surface dwellers there we go surface dwellers or people from land whatever and they have Arthur which in my mind like they think Arthur because since he, he's also made from true love and his parents love him really much and he is the actual heir to the Atlantis instead of King Aura was probably made to be another future crown but your child being the product of true love, they're going to be the hero. This does remind me of Once Upon a Time a little bit with Snow and Prince Charming having Emma as their hero. I know <laughs> this is a weird connection. Disney, Warner Brothers, what? <laughs> jump over a little bit when Arthur is a baby or a toddler. This is where the Lanthian people finally find her and attack her. I would say this this is the first big action sequences, uh, even though beginning action is like small scale, but this is like mind-blowing excitement I was in I was thrilled by this I knew I was in for a thrill ride when I first saw this it was amazing like this is what it should have been all this time with good directors so I can I can kind of make the comparisons with the Russo brothers how they do action in their movies this is good like the the first action sequence in this movie it's just I'm, oh my god <laughs> She kicks ass. The queen kicks ass. No, no wonder how she was she was able to get away. Also, Nicole Kidman is she fifty or sixty, whatever her age is. Holy crap, she looks young. I also know that she wanted to do something like kick, a super kick ass like this. I'm glad for her that she actually got to do some kick ass stuff. I mean, she kicks ass. Holy crap! This is then she has to leave because well, then Queen Atlanta has to leave. Her actual partner have married the. Uh, person that was arranged for her to get married to. That's how King Aura is born. So then we jump forward, well, we see Aquaman as a little kid, but we don't see him get bullied, it, kind of, we don't, we, there are bullies, but they're afraid of him because he can control fish. And then, okay, so then we jump forward again, but there's also pretty good jump forward and backwards, but I'll talk about them later. But right now, we see, we see Arthur taking on pirates that's hijacking a submarine. It feels superhero-y, how, like, all, all those bullets that, every, those Pirates are shooting him, and they have swords and step trying to stab him. It's not working. This is this is just great. Everything is just bouncing off of him, and like breaking off of him with swords, and everything is just great. It's Aqua, bro, yeah. So he does get in a fight with the the Manta people, whatever. And this is where we get to see Black Manta's origin. How how Arthur didn't save Manta's father because he was a thief, and he, and thieves should get their unbecomings. So there is that like. It's like, I guess, superhero-ish stuff with Black Manta. Like, I don't understand, like, how, like, he has a family. <laughs> He's the one that has a definite family and has the quirky Billy montage of his suit. I did not like that. Even though he looks cool and he like, has, like, this cool black suit I thought was too bulky in the trailers. He's looking like a black alpha. Aye, 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 aye. But seeing the movie, it looks great. I like it. He's cool. But the rest of it is with his, like, quirky hero montage or whatever or in Death in the Family or superhero stuff I did not like that because he's the villain we're not following the villain we're following the hero that's what I like to do after all that hero superhero stuff he goes to the bar to have a drink with his father 
are, and they have good chemistry because like everything is like very believable. Everything has actually good chemistry or okay chemistry with every all the characters. I like it. So when they leave in the bar, um, they get to see another character, Mara. She's trying to get Arthur to be the king of Atlantis because he's the rightful ruler. He's the oldest. He's Queen Atlantis' first son, but he doesn't want to because since they killed his mother, that's what uh that. Willem Dafoe's character, right? vocal, um, cause since for falling in love with a human and like, having a half human, half Atlantean hybrid. So as they're driving, like as Arthur and his father are driving, a ocean attacks him, but Mera saves him, and tells them that like King or uh, Orman or whatever Ocean Master says that he will do nothing to like he will do everything to stop you from like. Actually, like, or just doesn't want you to be alive because you're a thorn in his sight of why his mother left Atlantis. So Arthur decides to like, do you want to get rid of me? Now go there myself and try and get rid of them, whatever. So they go to Atlantis and it's beautiful. It's like going to Wakanda almost. Like I said earlier, it started with a king, it ends with a king. We start with a new freaky world and then we end with a new freaky world. It also looks better than Avatar. So they, yeah, they go to Atlantis and they meet up with Vocal. And he talks about like about finding the original Triton that controlled Atlantis or from the first king of Atlantis thousands of years ago, ten thousand years ago, when Atlantis first fell into the sea. The set of there's like this thing with the seven kingdoms and like with King Ord and him like wanting to rule all that wanting to be the ocean master. Yeah, there's like that thing and then if Arthur has the trident or finds the trident, he will rule over Atlantis or all the seven kingdoms, which they split apart. How would you control those, I was gonna say that, like, how would he control those trench dwellers, but he was controlling them in the, in the third act. Like, with the, with the trident probably, or, he, because he, or because he can talk to fish, and they're fish-like creatures, so. The end of game jumped by Orm's guards, and the end of game captured, and then he's been taken to the throne room where King Orb is right there, or Orin. Or whatever. <laughs> I'm pronouncing his name wrong, I think. <laughs> yeah. Orm. Orm, mate. See, Or and M. Orm. That's how you pronounce it. I have it right there, but I'm saying different words. I do that sometimes. Say Or and mm, Orm. That's how you say it. Or Ocean Master or whatever. So Arthur cocks some smack to Orm, and then they end up getting a challenge, like a challenge for the throne. Like in Black Panther, <laughs> there are. Slight comparisons to Black Panther, I, 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 as I said, again, begins with a king, it ends with a king. I'm just gonna keep on saying that, that's, that's the theme of today's video. And again, with the fight sequences, it's just awesome. The scale of it, it looks massive, like, maybe I should have seen this in IMAX, like, I wonder if this was filmed, this part was in IMAX, like how it does the, like that, but yeah, I should have saw this in IMAX, it's, it's beautiful, everything's jam-packed with action and it's awesome and it's stunning and it's just like <sighs> this is how it should be but it's still the, the cheesy dumb fun so but it's not like that high on my list i also did that said that vocal is the one that trained him and the one that teach him how to swim and fight right forgot did i mention that forgot to mention that oh yeah he did well, he put up a good fight with orm but he ended up losing and breaking his mother's trident so but good thing mero was there to save him and also, Mera was to marry Orm, but I don't think she wants to, because, well, oh, well, he's not the hero, so, yeah. <laughs> he's just this, like, he's just this over-the-top villain that's like, I wanna be king! Ah! Ocean Master! Yeah! It's fine, it's just cheesy fun. They, so they escape to the desert first, because they're trying to look for the first kingdom of Atlantis. Which they do, uh, Arthur falls down a hole. And then there's this message that plays from the first king, like, which is bizarre with the, this, this technology is like supposed to be more advanced than the human technology. Stories of Atlantis said that they had way more advanced technology than anyone else in the, in the past. They have holograms and water holograms, which is pretty cool. It's like Star Wars, almost the holograms, but it's water holograms, which was pretty wicked to see and it's cool cool not the hologram that they say but the previous hologram that like with orm and the black mantis that was pretty cool or him he had or the landings have their own holograms which is pretty cool watergrams but yeah they have like this so this hologram says that to like 
find the, the first trident. You must go to like, find a king that's a really intelligent ruler or whatever it was, or I'll play a club, whatever. In this trident resides the power of Atlantis. If you seek my power, journey beyond the edge of the world to the hidden sea in the wrong hands. It would bring destruction. But in the hands of the true heir, it would unite all our kingdoms above and below. And they end up going to Rome. And this is where it becomes... It becomes like a romantic comedy for a bit. They're doing silly shenanigans. Like Mary's eating flowers because she doesn't know what anything else from the surface world is. You don't eat flowers. And then I like how Arthur also just eats the flowers as well. I think she sees somebody eat an apple or whatever. And then she thinks it. She thinks it's food, and just eats it. It's a lot like the Little Mermaid with her fork comb thing, whatever. It is. It's kind of like that, even though she also looks like the Little Mermaid as well with the red hair. And also Scarlett Johansson. Emma, her and Scarlett Johansson do look alike. Hmm. We're all related somehow. So they do end up like finding where the direct direction to go to find the trident, and all well, thanks to Arthur knowing his history. No, so he's not a dumb brute, so he does know some things about like Greek or Greek rulers or whatever. But yeah, he ends up like because they have this bottle that um that he had that will take them to Greece or Rome, whatever. There was a statue that was that that was in a certain position to like have like a glass right there or a glass bottle in order to know where to go. But yeah, and that's how like they know where to go, and that's. And they get jumped by Black Manta and um and his crew as Atlanteans. Well, he has Atlantean armor now and metal. Also, when he was getting his armor, he should have said something like this. Does it come in black? It would have been fun and a good call back to Christopher Nolan's Batman. Oh my God, James Wan, what the hell, man? That would have been fun. Oh my God, what are you doing? I wonder if he did. But he took it out. If you did, leave it in. Leave it in. It's fun. Throwbacks are fun to other movies and other things. It's fun. This movie's fun. It would be more fun if he did that. I know you had a lot more other things in there, but that's one more cheesy thing to say. A throwback to a good Batman movie. And then we get to another, like, good chase action scenes. So I watched a breakdown of, of this particular scene which is amazing how some things were CGI some things were not for like one of the minions or soldiers or whatever that was Station Mera cameraman was a stunt actor so he was following that one so it was not all CGI the door breaking was CGI visual effects that was pretty cool and there's a lot of things that were a visual effects like the landscape was visual effects which I was thought was real I thought yeah, they had Emma her running on buildings for real, but it was actually fake. It was like, I was mind blown at it. It was just like, all visual effects. What happened, Justice League? Why did it look like shit? Did it look like this? That Vanny Fair thing that he was doing, he was having a fun time breaking it down. I love watching those clips of Vanny Fair, of the directors breaking down things. This was probably the most fun one to actually watch. Of him breaking down that scene, which is so amazing. It's great. It's this is how it should be. Again, this is how it should be. Oh my god, am I going to do another tangent? I hope so, probably. Cause I like doing tangents. Well, Black Manta has Atlantean armor and metal now, so they can actually cut him. So yeah, I'm taking the topics now. So Black Manta ends up defeating Arthur, and then Mera like has to save him. Oh my god, talking about good things is making me exhausted a little bit. And they end up going to. That so she steals the bolt and they end up going to that place to find the trident and it's near the trenches and this is where we got a good scare out of me I hope our people got scared but because <laughs> old James Wan is a horror director with the trenches creatures just like popping out like bah just good I got I I was hoping that he'll scare me because the country movies they scare me and this got me too as well so good job on that keep your horror stuff up I mean Oh my god, that... The light... My... My spotlight is like, uh... I'm seeing red. Yeah, also in the meantime, uh, King Orm is like... Talking to other, like... Rulers and like, killing them or... Making exchanges and like, trying to... 
start a war. It's the typical villain, king, I want to be king stuff. That's a, that, that's his model. That's his story. Typical. So let's go back to the hero stuff. They end up escaping the trenches dwellers. And since they are also afraid of light, because they're going to a place that had very, very bright light, which is like a vortex that took them to like this other island that had dinosaurs and Queen Atlanta, which she's not dead. So Queen Atlanta is alive, which is so hilarious seeing that like Aquaman's parents are alive, which is so hilarious with seeing that Batman's parents are not alive. Superman doesn't have his dad. Flash has his dad in prison. First superhero to have both their parents alive. Yeah, and so she's been there for like oh, 20 years about. The only power to escape is trying to get that trident from the original ruler of Atlantis out of his grips. And there's also a giant monster that's guarding it. So, and she says the only the true heir to Atlantis she can do it. Isn't she like a descendant too? I guess it could be like one of those thousand year things. Because that, when he, when he does fight the monster that's voiced by Julie Andrews. The seas are alive with the sound of music. It can't be copyrighted because I said the seas alive. Not the, not the hills alive. Yeah, so this giant crab monster or whatever is voiced by Julie Andrews. I kind of fights her for a little bit. And then he actually can understand her. Because, like, and she says, like, I haven't heard an actual mortal or whatever. Some kind of previous heir to the throne has failed. Because he probably couldn't talk and understand what she's talking about. Or can understand her, whatever. Because the first king can talk to her. The very first king can talk to her. And now Arthur can talk to her. He has that echo shown out. Uh, she likes him because she can talk to him or understand him. So she gives him the try to, to try to take the trident out of the hands of the first king, which I thought of King Arthur because his name is Arthur Curry. In King Arthur, he pulls a sword from the stone. Now it's a trident, full of trident from the dead body. <laughs> and he pulls it and gets the armor as well. The armor, I thought it would look, I thought it looked goofy at first. Like seeing that ab crunch right there, and it didn't look as great at first, but seeing it over and over again with promotional shots and whatever, it looks good in promotional shots, like the posters and stuff like that, but the ab crunch is just dumb. In promotional shots, it looks fine. It kind of looks like a superhero like muscles. I, I don't like the ab crunch. It does not look good. I like the suit that it looks like this orange gold color. It looks... It looks fun. It's a fun suit, but it shouldn't have that dumb ab crunch. Also, the Man of Steel suit has the dumb ab crunch, and you should just get rid of that as well. If you continue with the uh, Superman, whatever, or Henry Cavill, or whatever's happening, I don't know. I don't like that. It, it takes me out somehow. Like, do you want the superheroes to have ab crunch when they already have abs? They make a, like a, a tight superhero outfit. Then, if you want to do an ab crunch, it just looks dumb. But the suit looks great. If they hit, take away the ab crunch. Maybe in future movies, it'll look better. I'm just saying. So then, King Aquaman goes to, to where King Orm is fighting this other kingdom that doesn't want to join his seven kingdom, be the Ocean Master or whatever. There's laser sharks and laser crabs and everything is just great. It, everything is just crazy great. It's just so fun. It, it's ridiculous. It's all fun and ridiculous. And then... Aquaman, Team Aquaman can't, comes and brings the trench people because he controls everything now because of the, the trident. People are, yeah, people are listening to him and he's riding on a freaking seahorse like in that dumb cartoon. It's just like everything is just so ridiculous and great. It's so fun. And Orin's just like, you think you can stop me with your dumb trident just because it's the original trident or whatever? You can't stop me. I'm the ruler of... I'm the ocean master. That's that is ridiculously great. It's so hilariously fun. It, this is what. Oh my god! It, I'm having a spasm effect. I'm having a good rant now. So they do have this a round two match on the on this. I do have to say what Orm's mask that he has like the strap, which is which was CGI. He had the helmet on, but he, he couldn't just like not do the strap, just have it on. And oh, also his eyes are like looking great. Like they're all red. They're not like you see these regular eyes, like human eyes, like in the bat suit. It, it, it means just so it looks ridiculously dumb, but it's also fun to look at them. These things. Uh, I'm burping now. I'm having a fun burp. It's just so ridiculously 
fun and this entertaining. This is how it should be. They have a round two fight, and he, he does that thing that vocal vocal taught him, which I forgot to mention earlier. And he fe defeats Orm, breaks his trident, and then he's like, oh, well, are you gonna kill me? Whatever. You should just kill me when you have a chance. Like, I'll just keep on coming back. No, he won't because he's too honorable. And his mother comes and says, like, boy, sh you shouldn't fight. And then Aquaman becomes the king of Atlantis, and all everyone bows down to him. And then there's the end credits with Black Manta, and also the dad from Fresh Off the Boat, which, which, why was he in this movie? He doesn't seem like a serious like actor. He seems more of a comedic actor. That's why he was in Ant Man. I was surprised that I saw him, but he's a his character is like a special Atlantis, and he believes it's real, even though and he believes in Aquaman or whatever. Or he. So, there's also a lot of retcon from Justice League, and they don't really care about... Because Mara... There's a line that says Mara... Mara says to Arthur about you defeat the film, not your team defeat the film. If they only change that, like, to say that you were helping people around the sea about pi stopping pirates, that would have been better. Forget about Justice League. It's garbage. It's 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 fun garbage. I'm, I like to laugh at it, but it's still stupid. Retcon it. Do a reboot of Justice League in a few years. Call it Justice League of America. That's how it should be. With Gal Gadot and Jason Momoa as their characters. Their character. They, these are the characters that she, they should keep. These are the actors that they should keep for a new Justice League. Call it Justice League of America. Not Justice League 2. It, this is the real Justice League 1. I know I'm like being super critical. But it's, it's, I'm like very frustrated at how a giant team of movie was underperform and like stupid ridiculous just to laugh at. This is stupid ridiculous, but it's fun to enjoy. There's a there's a stupid ridiculous like the Bay films and then there's the Snyder stuff. The Snyder cut doesn't exist. I'm saying that. I'm saying it. The Snyder cut doesn't exist. It never will happen in the first place. And it's just dumb rumor that BCE fanboys made up and it's ridiculous and stupid and you shouldn't have it. In the first place. What was I talking about again? Oh yeah, Aquaman's great. <laughs> so, I was gonna like, give it like a 9 out of 10. But I'm thinking of like switching it down. Because it is still like, it's not that like, level of serious fun, like seriousness. But it's more of a level of funness. I'm gonna say it is the best of things. Which I don't normally say with the good movies. It's not fine, it's not horrible. It's the best of things. I'm, I'm probably going to say this more often with some, like, I think are just fine or really good. Or it's that fun. This probably I'm going to say that because I'm saying that more. That's my catchphrase thing, what I'm going to say. So, obviously, I enjoyed Aquaman. Did you enjoy Aquaman? Or did you not enjoy Aquaman because you are sick of the DC Universe movies and think it's just dumb? Or did you not see it and just watch this review to see? If so... Please give me a comment down below, give me a like, and subscribe for more. I've been Matt one and see you later, moviegoers. I forgot to mention my Bumble review. Rico had like this Fantastic Beast cup, and I think it's the collectible cup because since they have collectibles items, I think they, no one saw it. The second Fantastic Beast movie made less money than the first one, so I think you just had leftovers and they wanted to get rid of it. I'm just gonna throw it right here. There.